Hey guys, Mark here with Along for the Ride. Well, the kids have been begging me for probably at least a month or so to make their favorite cheeseburgers. So that's what we're gonna do. So anyway, what makes these cheeseburgers a little different is a couple things. Number one, it's what's called a smash burger. And we do it on the uh, Blackstone griddle outside. And the way we do this is, you know, you just make your patties. Well, we're not making patties. What you do is you're going to take your hamburger and make it into balls, just like this. And I go ahead and pre-season everything before we go out to the griddle because we'll have to get it hot and everything. But what we're going to do out there is we're going to uh, toast the buns on the griddle. We're going to fry onions on the griddle. We're going to use butter for all that, you know, cheese. I like using pepper jack cheese. I, I like grating my cheese, pepper jack, and uh, putting it on the burger. I have a cover that kind of steams the burger once it's ready to melt the cheese off and everything. So anyway, I'll take you along for the ride here and show you how we do it. Before I get things rolling here, I wanted to kind of show you what I'm going to be cooking on. It is the, uh, it's the Blackstone griddle. This thing is awesome. I mean, it's great. We cook uh, breakfast, you, you name it, you cook stir fry. Everybody just loves the food that comes off this thing. Um, we're going to be using the, the uh, patty smashers here. We've got some spatulas, different things. This is a water bottle for cleaning. I lost my squirt one, so I just took a water bottle and cut a hole in it so I could squirt some water there. A little bit of oil there. Over here, I've noticed on this black stone, sometimes when the grease is dripping down here, if I don't put a little foil up here, it wants to run underneath back here. So if I put some foil up underneath this lip and catch it right there, it lets all that uh, grease and everything go inside there. And I like lining this, just kind of an easier cleanup. So anyway, let's get started. All right, we got the uh, griddle all clean and preheated here. I like to start off with the uh, onions, kind of get them sauteed. I use a lot of butter in this. So I'll just take some butter. I kind of use this half of the griddle. Get all this butter melted in, just let these onions Start cooking on here. We'll just take these onions and spread them all around. And I'll probably have to keep adding more butter to this. Because the burgers, once once we get those on here, cook pretty quick. I just like my onions sauteed here a little longer. It just all depends on how you like it. Good old onions on the griddle. I didn't think about it, but mushrooms on here would be really good. Well, they are good, I just didn't have any. Going to get these onions all mixed in with the butter. What's nice about this Blackstone is right now I've kind of got this side really hot and I've got this just sitting on simmer while I'm doing these onions and kind of getting them started. All right, now that the onions have kind of simmered here for a while, I turn the heat down on this side and turn the heat back up on this side, get it nice and hot. I like using a little butter over here too because when I, when I put these burgers on, it kind of gives that little extra flavor. Now, I, I'm only doing four at a time. I have quite a few to cook here. But since all I have two smashers, and it just works better that way. All right, so what we're gonna do here, you're just gonna take, we're just gonna take your patties. Put two down right there. Put 
We'll put two more down right there, and I'm gonna sit there for just a minute. What I'm doing is just kind of getting a small little crust on that one side, then I'm gonna flip them over, and then we're gonna smash them. In the meantime, while that's doing that, just kind of keep stirring these onions around. Now all I'm gonna do is put this side over, put them right around there, take the smasher, and smash them down. All right, after these are set on here, these don't take long to cook. The thing about these is when you have this griddle this hot and you smash them, you need a nice sharp spatula. Break that off. And you got that nice crisp patty on there. Once you flip them, let them sit there for just a minute to cook. While that's cooking, add your cheese. And you got this little steamer like dome. You put those right over the burgers. It just melts that cheese right down in there. Now if you wanted to, you could take some of these onions. Some of the kids don't like the onions like that. Take the onions, put it on the burger first, melt the cheese right on top of that, it all sticks right together. <laughs> Look how quick that melts that down. Now that is a good old smash burger. Now that those are done, you start the process over again. All right, while my last four burgers are getting started here, I'm gonna go ahead and get some buns going. And by the way, this scraper is dedicated only for the griddle. This is not a... So I just get some butter going on there. Thank you, help with Mason. I gotta do is just slap these buns on here. Move them around there. Smash them. Alright, like I said, we got some toasted buns here. While these other burgers are cooking, this will be one of the best burgers you could have. Now, we'll tell you one thing that's even make this even better if you had bacon put on here too. We just didn't have any bacon tonight. You could do some bacon, mushroom, onion, cheeseburgers that are just out of this world. All right, so we got everything brought in here. We got one already pigging out. And there's a poodle just begging for one. Because it's amazing. Oh, they're the bomb. Number two sitting in here. We got other kids on the way. They're in a hurry. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel and hope to see you on the next video.